Hi, this is Rook with Condemned and the Titan Alliance. In this episode of Results, we're going to take a beginner's look at scouting, including a demo of exactly how far you can see. As a scout in Guild Wars 2 World vs. World, you need to assist your raid leaders by monitoring enemy movements. One tool for doing this will be checking the map frequently to look for any battle markers. Now white battle markers, similar to these cross swords, appear if a small group attacks an NPC and reddish-orange markers appear if a slightly larger group attacks an NPC or a player, of course. The current numbers are displayed here, and I'll try to update them as they change. Notice that from these numbers, it's possible for a disciplined group to move from area to area, and if they do not attack anyone, or if only two people attack, no battle symbols appear. Presently attacking walls with no players or NPCs on them will not create a battle marker either, though hopefully this will change in the near future. So battle markers alone are not a good enough indication of where your forces are needed or of areas they should avoid. We need eyes on the enemy, but how far can you see? Assuming it's daylight and not snowing too bad, you can typically see a person in their tag automatically at 2.5 to 3k. Of course, if you're that close, you've been spotted as well and are known to be an enemy. Not good. This corresponds to the edge of ballista range and is well within catapult range. So what if you're further away, say 5k? Well, you can definitely see the other person, but their tag is not showing up immediately. Ah, but look, if you highlight over the person, you can still determine if they are friend or foe. So a scout who is actively moving their mouse cursor around will probably see the enemy before they see him. What if you're even further away than that? Well, after 5k, it looks like you can just see the person, but not identify who they are. As my ally here goes even further, now to 7.5k, I can still see them, but not as clearly. However, if they start jumping around, as this person does here, it's easier to detect that movement. The limit of sight actually appears to be almost 10k, or the range of a trebuchet. You won't see much, but if there's any jumping up and down as there is here, and you look hard enough, you can still distinguish unnatural movements, and perhaps large groups certainly try and watch and see just how far you can see my ally there as we continue to discuss a few other things. Now this idea that you can spot the movement is interesting. Uh, for instance, if uh, say one of our WVW officers, Trey or Crazer, gives the order, uh, Rook go do this, and then I get my group together and it's basically, Rook's group moving south, Rook's group moving south, follow the bouncing uh, purple char, or whatever, just to get my group's attention and give them an easy target to mark and follow. Any unusual movements though on the field might draw enemy eyes. Certainly scouts may want to move slowly, and they might actually want to use cover or even hide uh, with animals and such. So what are the best uh, vantage points to see where your enemies are? Well, I can't reveal everything. I can say that you should consider hiding behind hills, buildings, other obvious things like trees and animals. Uh, my favorite spots though are under bridges and underwater when I have to get very close to an enemy. You saw how difficult it was to see past a range of 5,000, so even be hiding behind uh, the smallest thing could make the difference. What are the best classes for scouting? Certainly there's been arguments for Mesmers to scout, uh, because they can provide quick gates for parties to move a range of about 4,000. A thief is highly mobile and able to solo enemies and stealth, and also able to permanent blind enemies. And a ranger is similar to a thief and can easily solo uh, NPC sentries, to hamper enemy supplies and do many of the same functions as well. The best races for scouting? Certainly the shorter the better. Once you're over 2.5k as you can see, you're going to blend in better to the surroundings or hide behind smaller objects easier. One of the most difficult things to consider is engagement. I've seen in my work how most mistakes happen when a controller is just sitting in front of the radar screen and his attention starts to wander usually during a really slow period or because they have been sitting in the position for more than an hour. To keep yourself or your scouts engaged, you may wish to rotate them out or at least switch their positions occasionally. Your scouts and a couple of backline uh, raiders could be in the same party to chat, quietly call each other for help, and compare notes without interrupting leaders in command chat. But really, scouts need to find ways to keep themselves engaged and they should have permission to do a couple of things to help themselves stay alert. However, 
the main objective of a scout is staying alive. It can be a long run back with no eyes, and no eyes means no info, which means blind commanders. This is Rook from Condemned and the Titan Alliance. Thanks for watching. We'll see you out on the battlefield.